Kenya Bears knows how to create black content. From blackish to grownish to mixedish, Kenya is known for successfully amplifying the voices and experiences of black people in America, namely the middle upper class. However, folks think his new Netflix show, hashtag Black AF, is just more of the same old thing. This will be a great place to play count the black people. <laughs> That'll be a very short game. Incredibly short. <laughs> there are a number of reasons why Black AF feels like just another iteration of what Bears has already done. First, like Blackish, Black AF is loosely based on Bears' life. Actually, Kenya stars as a fictionalized version of himself in the new Netflix comedy, while Anthony Anderson plays a fictionalized Kenya in the ABC comedy. Second, he's sticking with the biracial wife by his side. Both Tracy Ellis Ross and Rashida Jones are mixed women who play a version of Kenya's real-life wife. Ross plays Rainbow, while Jones plays Joya. However, Rashida's casting in Black AF has been a point of contention for many. Third, both Blackish and Black AF highlight what it's like for wealthy Black families in America. Much, if not all, of the show centers around race relations and how elite Black folks are perceived. There's code switching, cultural appropriation, Black colloquialisms, and more. No topic is off limits, but there are also topics Kenya has done many, many times before. Lastly, the kids. There's a plethora of kids on both shows and their antics and wit are the driving force for the comedies. Mom, come on, you're the whitest person I know. It's hard not to create the same show twice when they're both loosely based on the same life. But do you think Bears is a one-trick pony? Keep in mind, he is giving us the Coming to America sequel soon. So let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. For HipHollywood.com, I'm Vanessa Barnett.